So as I was fooling around with the latest patch in The Witcher 3, I encountered two curious details in what I thought was one of the smallest and least remarkable quests in the entire game. And one of these details is actually quite disturbing. The quest I'm referring to is called Love's Cruel Snares, and it can be easy to miss because the quest giver only spawns after you clear the general area to the west of Midcops. There are multiple camps of pirates and even cannibals around, and a few days after you deal with them, a merchant and a distraught woman will show up in the newly formed settlement. If you talk to the lady, you'll learn that her betrothed has failed to return from the nearby woods. Me! <laughs> Me betrothed went to the woods to see to his snares! <laughs> he didn't come back! Something must have happened! Heard him scream but was afraid to go there myself! After which you can go there and find out that he was murdered by wild dogs. Won't have good news for the woman. Wild dogs killed her man. You then report back, accept or refuse the reward, and the quest ends. Thanks. And I truly am sorry. Might I at least fetch his body? Wouldn't advise it. It's dangerous. If you decide to go anyway, it's near his snares. Thank you. Farewell. Afterwards, she does indeed head into the woods to supposedly retrieve his body and just stays beside him. Ah, tis you. Greetings. Now, the first detail I stumbled upon was that if you refuse to help... I'm sorry, I can't help you. You just say that because you don't want to help. Fine, I'll go myself. But if something eats me, it's on your head. She will truly end up getting herself killed by venturing into the woods alone. If you follow her from a safe distance, you can witness the wild dogs murdering her right next to her future husband's body. And if you decide to stay close and kill the dogs, she'll just remain there as it was before. Okay, now let's take a step back and talk about the cannibals again. As I mentioned, this area has the largest concentration of cannibals in Velen. There are few others here and there. There is one next to the village with the enchanted pigs. There's the cannibal couple. More about that in my Details Missed in Hearts of Stone. But here, there is a small village full of them, as well as a few camps. Which, sadly, I will not show much of, since Lately, YouTube has been extremely sensitive when it comes to gore in videos. But suffice it to say, there are lots of gruesome-looking bodies killed in various ways, and the whole place is especially creepy at night, with the burning pyres on top of everything. And it all brings us back to this woman. Because if you wait a few days after finishing her quest, assuming she survived and then return to where her husband died, you can find her eating his body. Now, her character is not right on top of the body, but I do believe this is the intent. She has clearly approached him, moved closer than she was before and started picking something from the ground right where his arm is and she's putting it inside her mouth. So unless she decided to start picking berries covered in his blood or something, um, I think she's supposed to be related to the cannibals from the nearby camps we just cleared. Or maybe it's just another grim occurrence in Velen. We certainly have a lot of those. Whatever the case, this here is one of the reasons why I love the game so much and why I'm still playing it to this day. So, tell me how you feel about all this whether or not you've stumbled upon the quest or any of these details before. And with that, I shall leave you for now. I want to thank you very much for watching. Special thanks for your support and for joining the YouTube membership. And until the next video, stay tuned and be good.